our latest project, we partnered with Killowen Construction to design a showcase home in Red Ledges, Utah. It's located in the surrounding area of Park City and has beautiful sweeping views of the mountains and the valley. It's really, really beautiful. This was a spec home and we worked with the builder from the very, very beginning. From consulting on the architectural plans to actually creating the designs and many, many site visits. Then at the end, just working on top of each other while we installed the furniture and then the crews finished up the home. It's been quite the journey. The Red Ledges community has strict CCNRs to maintain the mountain home community look that they're after. So we had to stick within a few restrictions like all siding had to be stained. We had to have a certain amount of stone. There couldn't be any clear glass. With all that said, I think that it came together beautifully. We used this reclaimed barnwood exterior and then the black windows. It turned out great. One of my favorite elements that we did have to kind of push for is this modern garage door. I thought that, that was the perfect complement to all of the rustic elements we had going on. It was important to have a stately entrance draw you in from the outside and we did these fabulous double doors that brought you into this really great entryway. walk in, you are greeted by this awesome pattern wood floor. I am quite certain the installer hates us, but we came up with this custom pattern that we designed and they brought it to life. In these mountain home communities, a lot of times you see really, really ultra modern houses or very kind of mountain lodge style houses and there's nothing in between that feels traditional and fresh and rustic kind of all at the same time. So you can see that we did this warm white on the walls and then we incorporated this beautiful chandelier that is a statement. It still feels traditional but has a streamlined look to it. We partnered with Legrand for the outlets and wall plates. And I love that when you walk into this high-end home, you can see immediately that even the details down to the light switches feel more custom. These custom steel doors that we design are the backdrop of the entryway, and then they open up and take you into this lovely, moody office space. In here, we did actually tone on tone dark. So we did wall paneling that, that was this inky blue color and then a dark brown stain on the built-ins. I like that it feels really cozy, but it's not all uniform. And then we did black cut pulls. So we have dark on dark on dark, again, complementing that moody effect that we were after. In a dark room, you don't want white outlets because they stick out like a sore thumb. We went with Legrand's Radiant Collection because it's screwless and it has a really clean look. And it has a USB port, which is perfect for an office because you can charge your phone and devices. With the dark walls, it was really important that all of the furniture selections were just right, especially in the size of the space. We went with the desk that had light wood legs to contrast, but then it had a marble gray top, which paired really nicely with everything. And then we had textural details on the chair, and then the light was a brass and black and had a more modern shape to complement with some of the more traditional features in the room. Now we are moving on to one of my favorite parts in the whole home, the kitchen. I honestly don't even know where to start talking about this kitchen because there are so many things that I love. I love that the first thing that you see are these massive lanterns and then your eye just then continues around the room with this subtle textured painted brick that goes all the way up to the vaulted ceiling. We have 
mixed tones on the cabinetry, dark countertops, then this great vertical detail happening on the refrigerator, and then the range, which it's black and brass and French and just so beautiful. It's framed out with a plaster hood and then reclaimed barn wood trimming the bottom. The island design is seemingly simple when you first look at it and then you start to see little details like the iron joint that connects the leg and the main part of the island that we designed and a great antique brass faucet that is the focal point in the center. We designed these new counter stools that are launching on McGee & Co and this was the perfect kitchen to show them off. They have wood seats, metal legs, and then this really great strap detail that reaches around the back with a brass accent piece. We have an extra long vintage rug that has really great warm tones to pair with the warm woods in the space. And then this great moment where we did open shelves and a library light to shine down on them. Throughout the kitchen, we installed the Radiant LED night lights. It has a hidden sensor that automatically controls the level of light. So when you're wandering in for a snack late at night, you get the perfect amount of light. I love having my phone next to me when I cook because I can look up recipes, I can listen to music, text Sid. This new wireless charger is the first of its kind and I love it because you could just pop your phone right in there. And I didn't even have to take off my case. Even from the architectural planning of the home, I knew that we really needed these great trusses carrying from the kitchen into the great room. Between the kitchen and the great room is space for this great long dining table. And it's so long that there are a lot of chairs that can fit around it. And we decided to do the same finish on the side chairs and the end chairs, but change the shape. Mantle is maybe one of my favorite fireplaces that we've ever designed. We have this stone that they actually had to hand cut into that square shape to lay it, and then a great cast concrete surround. The living room includes a little sneak peek of one of the sofas we'll be launching soon, and all of the other furniture in the room is from McGee & Co. too. We have two little kids and it is easy to get overrun by all of the child proofing. The little plastic covers that go on the outlets are ugly and they're so annoying to have to pry off when you need to use the outlet. That's why I was so excited when Legrand told me about their patented shutter system that keeps everyone safe. The color palette in the room is linens and some blues, a lot of just natural earth tones, but then you have this artwork that has greens and blues and so we've tied that in throughout the room. So we have a green lamp and then this amazing fern pine tree that we put in the corner. We went with nightlight outlets in the kitchen, but they also work really well in bathrooms. And with so many finish options, it was really easy to select one that went well with this really cool patterned wallpaper. It's fun to go dramatic in small spaces like powder bathrooms. And this wallpaper is actually one of our own designs. And it pairs perfectly with the fluted detail that we did on the floating custom vanity. But then we have this marble detail and you can see the backsplash even has a little curved edge on the back. Because the powder bathroom opens up to the mud room, we carried these dark textural slate floors from one room to the other. 
The mudroom is simple, but there's actually quite a few details happening here. We have dark stain on the bench and the drawers, and then above we have a lighter painted cabinetry with cane fronts, which turned out great. And then we have these drum shade fixtures, which are some of my favorites. They have like this iron detail on the drum shade. Our bunk rooms, the thing where you live, they're a big thing here in Utah. Uh, we design them all the time. We have found that a lot of times the people that are buying these homes in these mountain communities are inviting a lot of family and friends over and it's a great place for the kids to hang out and you can cram a lot of people in one room. When designing the bunk room, we started with just the bunks. We had this great kind of whitewashed wood. It's very rustic, it has a lot of texture to the wood, and then this really cool um, kind of wire detail on the railing. There are so many beds. Uh, we decided not to do a different pillow look on every single one because just thought it would get too jumbled. So we added in some green, which I think is a great kind of gender neutral color. It doesn't read too feminine or masculine. And we incorporated a few little black and gray accents here and there. The wallpaper actually came after we designed those bunks. It kind of felt like we needed a little something else happening in this space. We didn't want it to be loud, so we went with this gray and white, wood grain wallpaper that's a great layer, but also a nod to the mountain home. Legrand's Adorn Collection comes in so many different finishes, like metal, natural wood, leather, and even a custom option. And we use this custom option in the bunk room so that you could carry the wallpaper throughout the entire room, even behind the wall switches. Stay tuned for part two of the tour, and you can always head to the blog to find out sources and paint colors and links, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for part two, or a tour of this tour. Okay, stay tuned for part <laughs> Stay tuned for part two, or I can't do Stay tuned for part two of this tour. I cannot do that. It is so hard for me.